Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Gerald. Uh, was it Gerald? Uh, Jared. Jared. Can you hear me now? Good morning. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Good morning, Jason. You, you'll need to uh, unmute your microphone. But that's yes, fine. sir. I mean, throughout the uh, during the uh, <clears throat> during the class, um, uh, it's better to uh, remain muted <laughs> uh, to prevent any uh, background noise interfering. Um, but you know, um, but if you have any questions, you know, uh, uh, you must feel free to uh, unmute yourself and uh, 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 ask questions, or either you know that, or raise your hand, or you know. Um, now uh, we're still. Um, so I believe you have watched the uh, the video I sent you. I mean, it's not directly the uh, video recording of. Uh, FNB 100 class, but basically the uh, uh, protocol, the uh, uh, the protocol is pretty much the same <clears throat> now. Uh, so people are starting to uh, more people are uh, starting to join. Um, so the first thing is to uh, create your um, attendance thread in the uh, today's forum. So let me let me check. Um, let me show my screen first and then, okay, so, all right, so I'm sharing the screen right now and uh, so you must be able to see my screen. So let me quickly, quickly, um, uh, go to the discussion board. So the first thing, yeah, this wasn't visible. I'm sure this wasn't visible before 11 a.m., but exactly at 11, this will become visible. So, yeah, I can see. And, okay, I see um, nine people have joined so far, right? And, okay, Natalie, how? Uh, if you're here, Natalie, uh, this is, uh, you need to create your own thread because uh, that won't be visible. I mean, I will look at, uh, I will look at, you know, the list basically and uh, check, you know, um, uh, how many people are here first. But, you know, you, you got to, um, okay, I'm going to have to reply to Natalie. Uh, no, sir, I hear you. Thank you. All right, so you heard me. So, yes, sir. yeah, you will need to, uh, yeah, you will need to uh, create your own thread. Okay. Will do. Thank so, you. Yeah, use this, create thread. You know, I'm, uh, at first, people didn't, uh, <clears throat> people didn't uh, see this. I mean, it's all gray. I mean, if if it stands out from the background, then you would easily understand. You would easily notice that this is a button, uh, but it's it doesn't stand out from the background. So they don't realize that this is a uh, button. But you know, it's a button. You you gotta click on that, and uh, you can do that. Now, <clears throat> all right. So um, I sent out already a couple of uh, emails, uh, group emails. Uh, so you know pretty much, you know, uh, what is the standard procedure. Um, uh, so that's why people are, you know, um, I see, you know, a, a lot of people actually, you know, uh, complying, complying with the, uh, uh, the protocol. So it's very important, the compliance, right? Um, also, uh, so let me check, um, let's see, back to, uh, okay, so I can, okay, uh, I see only seven people, but I'm hoping, you know, to see more people join. Um, so let's go back to, uh, you know, this is all, there are, there's a lot, lot of, you know, uh, <laughs> 
uh, junk from previous, you know, because when I, I copy these contents from previous uh, semesters, so uh, you don't see them, but, you know, I can see a lot of, you know, uh, uh, junk from the previous semester. But, you know, first, you, I sent you this email. Uh, I don't like I don't like verbiage, you know, I basically I'm not a verbiage person, but sometimes sometimes you can't help it because um, uh, you have to uh, uh, deliver it. You have to explain uh, uh, a um, complicated process and you cannot do it in a uh, uh, you cannot do it with a long narrative. Uh, of course, you know, the purpose of this course is to get rid of the long narrative. A lot of it can be, uh, a lot of it can be, you know, uh, 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 condensed, especially in, you know, economics and finance. A lot of it can, a lot of the ex verbal explanations can be avoided and it can be uh, uh, condensed into a single equation. <laughs> but this is this is you know uh, anyway uh, this is something that cannot be um, condensed into a single equation. But you know um, uh, I explained here pretty much you know uh, uh, how this course is going to be conducted. Uh, one thing uh, I have already invested a lot of my time and uh, effort. To record all the lectures, and I have been using those, you know, pre-recorded uh, pre lectures. Uh, I mean, they they were built over the years because uh, since the pandemic, it's been already, you know, uh, a year and a, at least. It started in uh, like you know, uh, first semester, uh, uh, like uh, March of 2020. So it's been almost, you know, uh, a year and a half. Um, so we've had like, you know, uh, uh, it was starting from uh, spring of 2020, we've had, uh, you know, three semesters uh, on uh, online. So I have, Basically, you know, recorded the lectures. You know, I mean, uh, the the live lectures um, will be. You know, uh, this session is also recorded, so it will be uh, posted uh, later afterwards, so you can you know go over. Um, but you know, I have recorded lectures separately because you know, in a live session, um, there's a lot of you know unnecessary. Um, the one hour uh, session, one hour recording cannot be a compact thing because of a lot of, you know, um, um, there would be a lot of, you know, um, uh, small, there can be some small chats, some, you know, uh, uh, question and answers. Uh, but, you know, again, those live sessions are also being recorded and they were uh, posted. And all those, you know, Recordings will be updated every day, uh, but the lectures have, I've invested a lot of time and effort uh, during the summer, you know, uh, or every, you know, um, and during the regular semester. I spent a lot of not only this class, but I'm I'm teaching, you know, uh, four different classes, and all of them, all of them, uh, I recorded just like I teach, you know, uh, in the class without without you know uh, without just the interference of you know uh, uh, noise and you know some um, unintended and intermittent uh, interruptions uh, the whole lecture has been recorded and it, it, for me it's an asset because you know um, it, it will remain forever I mean I all my lectures are also on YouTube so um, it will be there forever uh, and uh, anybody <laughs> This may be a, a shock to uh, BMCC, but my lecture on YouTube, uh, anybody can, you know, um, access it. Um, 
but of course, you know, just because you can access it doesn't mean you can uh, take advantage of that because you have to meet certain uh, prerequisite to be able to uh, uh, take this class. Uh, again, the prerequisite is uh, actually the prerequisite, current prerequisite at BMCC is too low right, uh, to actually be able to uh, uh, fully, you know, uh, uh, comprehend and fully uh, uh, be to, to be fully functional in this class. You should have at least taken math 206. That should be the prerequisite. But, you know, the reality the reality of BMCC um, doesn't allow that because to have uh, finished, um, uh, some of you who are in AES program, uh, uh, AES, if you're in AES program, uh, Math 206 is a requirement for uh, quantitative reasoning. Uh, mathematical reasoning or quantitative reasoning, uh, but if you're not, if you're in AAS program, that's not a uh, uh, requirement or uh, something lower. I think Math 150. But you know, even if you are in AAS program, um, to get to Math, you don't take Math 206 in the first semester. You generally, take uh, if you have no Math. Remedials, you can take it in the first semester, but students uh, generally uh, put off, right? Uh, they generally put off until uh, whatever they think is hard, they put off until the last semester. Uh, but if you're in AES program, depending on uh, your uh, major, Math 206 is only the beginning. You have to, uh, you have, if you're AES in financial management, I mean, once again, there is AES in financial management and AAS in finance and banking. Now, a, a financial management is an AES program, which is a transfer program. So you have to have completed all uh, math 206, 209, and 301. Okay. Uh, 206 is intermediate algebra, or uh, is it pre calculus? I think, yeah, it is pre calculus, pre calculus. And then 209 is statistics. And then uh, 301 is um, calculus. So if you're in AES program uh, and if you have no math remedial, you may have a, uh, you may take uh, 206, math 206 in the first semester. And if you have taken already math 206 in the first semester, then in the second semester, you can take this course, FMB 100. But again, uh, I told you the reality at BMCC doesn't allow it because um, by the, uh, and uh, if you are especially in AAS program, you don't even have to take 206, math 206. Then, um, and even if you do take 206, then it may be in that in semester, uh, second, third, or f uh, at least you should take it in the second semester <clears throat> so that you can take, you know, um, uh, math 209 and 301 in the third semester or fourth semester. But it, at least if you have math 206, uh, if you're taking math 206 simultaneously uh, with FMB 100, that means you have already met the uh, math remedial for math 206. And if you have met the remedial for math 206, which is like math 056, I, that's the remedial for 206. If you have met it, met that remedial uh, requirement, then you can still, you will feel comfortable with this course. <clears throat> um, but again, um, the, um, this course requires, you know, uh, at least some level of, you know, um, like uh, some level of math, uh, math proficiency, um, which is, you know, equivalent to uh, math 450, at least uh, math 206. Um, but, you know, as I said, you know, the uh, time frame, uh, you, uh, BMCC, you know, you're, 
you're in a two-year program and with, within two-year program, actually to have already taken math 206 and sitting and then sit to sit in the in this class is it, it doesn't it doesn't happen it usually doesn't happen because within two years you know it's not uh it's not you know uh, it doesn't happen in that sequence uh if it happens in the se conveniently happens in the sequence you know it's wonderful but uh, usually it doesn't so the thing is you know um, we'll have to um uh, uh if you don't have like you know uh math 206 level uh of course you know it can be made up you know it's all per individual effort right you must invest your time and energy and you know hard work it's an arduous process it's really you know it's a toil right blood sweat tears and toil right that's what winston churchill said um so it's not going to be obviously you know it's not going to be a uh a, a joy ride you know um it's not this class is not uh i, I don't want to you know intimidate I don't want to sound intimidating, but you know that that's what the college course is all about. The real college course is all about the or college level course. Um, if it is, you know, uh, literature and art, you know, uh, humanities classes, it can be, you know, um, you can be laid back. You can be laid back, and you can, you know, uh, uh, take your time and. Uh, uh, but you know. Uh, that's not something that you know that's not something you can expect in this class uh, in this class you really have to pour yourself into this class you really have to pour yourself into this class you know and no laid back you know i'm gonna uh i'm gonna reflect on this later no 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 you have to uh um you have to be really immersed into uh this class okay into the material now uh, I heard some uh, ding, which you know, some sound ding sound, which means you know, uh, was a uh, uh, okay. Okay, uh, Natalie. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. I'm gonna. So. Um, but don't panic don't panic what i'm saying is you know you will if think about it i cannot i cannot move on right the class cannot move on why is this open the class cannot of course the class cannot move on right without uh, uh i lost here The class cannot move on if you don't uh, understand. But that, that's why, you know, through the uh, through this class, I'm reteaching everything. <laughs> I'm reteaching the math. Uh, that's what takes a lot of. T uh, that's why it takes a lot of time. But you know what I'm saying is because I'm reteaching it. Everything is um, uh, like algebra. You know things like you know. Uh, um, exponential function, you know, the, the power of powers, you know, power function and uh, uh, logarithm, all these things are retaught. Okay, it's taught here. So it's only a matter of, you know, um, um, catching up, matter of, you know, uh, studying, you know, um, and uh, studying means, you know, <laughs> really uh, setting aside uh time and really researching that matter um inside out right so that it requires you know and i'm the lecture is um posted uh the lecture is you know delivered through video so it's posted there uh, and um, the the videos are good for five days. So today's videos will be good for 
the next five days. So that means you can revisit it and replay, replay, and you know, uh, um, emulate the process. I mean, if there is a, uh, a mathematical process or Excel that is being demonstrated, um, you can pause the video. I mean, you can, you know, you can pause the video and you actually do it yourself. You try it out yourself, right? You can emulate it and, you know, uh, replay the video over and over again and, re, you know, redo the process over and over again, you know, uh, the demonstrated process. Um, you emulate it over and over again until you get it right. Okay, that's the... That's something that cannot happen in a, a live in-person class because in a live in-person class, if you miss it, then that's it. You cannot uh, recreate it, or you know. Um, but here, you can recre uh, rec reproduce it, right? Because you can replay the video over and over. Uh, before the pandemic, you know, uh, live in-person class, some people. <clears throat> videotaped or at least you know recorded using a uh, tape recorder or you know uh, nobody uses tape recorder these days but you know uh, even with the phone they recorded the lecture and what was the purpose so that they can replay it over and over until they uh, can fully understand now uh, and if you didn't uh, record it if you didn't video uh, uh, video record it or in the in the in-person class, um, then that's it. You know, the basically um, uh, in-person class is a fleeting thing. It's transitory. It's gone once the class is over, right? <clears throat> and then um, if you have a question, you'll have to see me during the office hour. But you know, uh, during the uh, uh, my mm -hmm. office hours are very thin because you know uh, it's not only you. There are mm -hmm. Uh, other people, and so you will have to uh, uh, schedule an appointment. And um, uh, you may never know. Uh, I mean, you may get the uh, you may get the appointment uh, relatively promptly, or or maybe it, it takes some time. You, you may not be seen within the week. You may be seen uh, in two weeks. Then you know by then you may have already forgotten what your question was, right? <laughs> Maybe your you know uh, something comes up that will prevent you from uh, coming to the uh, uh, to my office hour. All the, all of those things are all <clears throat> it, you know it's irre all all of those things no longer are you know uh, any deterrent, right? Those things don't you know. Um, matter anymore because you can always replay it, right? <clears throat> so um, this is the important thing. This class is conducted like a two-lane traffic, right? <clears throat> or, you know, um, um, so at least, you know, uh, <laughs> in a highway, you know, there, there must be at least two lane uh, in one direction, you know, another two lanes in the other direction. There's, there must be at least fast lane and slow lane, right? If you are slow moving traffic, you you got to take the uh, slow lane, right? Trucks, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, eighteen wheelers, especially you know, uh, in the upslope, uh, heavy trucks, you know, uh, <clears throat> eighteen wheeler trucks will have to move aside, you know, in the up. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so. Um, if you are a slow-moving vehicle, you know, uh, you should stay in the slow lane so that you won't, you know, uh, slow down or bog down the uh, fast-moving traffics. Uh, but, you know, the fast-moving traffics, <clears throat> now, uh, so slow traffic is like someone who needs to take more time. Um, so if you... Uh, if you need to ask questions, you know, you need to pull over. So uh, you need to pull over to the side of the road, you know, the shoulder, or if there's a rest area, uh, you, you know, um, 
you go to the rest area and you stop there you stop over and then you know you can uh take a rest or you know um uh take your time you know uh uh, uh, <clears throat> uh replanning your route or whatever so that's that's what this collaborate collaborate session is all about if you have questions you know uh, uh, you bring it to the collaborate session and so the collaborate session is not the main lecture this is the point i wanted to make if the main lecture is already there it's posted the, the pre-recorded uh videos are already posted there you must watch them it's like pre-assigned reading the only thing is that i wanted to uh, pre-assign that but then you know the the semester has only started now so there was uh, no way, I mean, I could have uh, emailed that to you, but, you know, uh, normally, you know, uh, <clears throat> the way I set up the uh, Blackboard is to uh, start on at the scheduled time on that scheduled date. So then, you know, the material posted here cannot be, you know, uh, viewed prior to that date. So, um, uh, it will it can only be viewed uh, it can only be the video can be uh watched only from today so from uh next class which is you know next monday you will have questions right and we can then review and reflect on this today's lecture on monday so it's kind of ex post rather than you know um ex ante right um <clears throat> so um the there may be people um uh, like the fast moving traffic there may be people who don't who have no questions at all then you can cruise along if you are a fast moving if you comprehend everything if you comprehend everything um you can cruise along you can keep going uh, but don't, um, uh, that doesn't mean you don't have to uh, uh, attend the uh, collaborate session because you may pick up something that is valuable from the uh, collaborate session. But if you r think you rather just, you know, use this time to watch the, uh, uh, the lecture, main lecture, then uh, you don't have to. I mean, you don't have to uh, uh, come to the collaborate session. But in the uh, another thing is in the collaborate session, um, uh, because we are reflecting, uh, so it's like an aftermath. Collaborate session will be uh, is like an aftermath for reflecting on the uh, pre uh, the pre-assigned readings. I mean, in 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 this case, it's not pre-assigned reading. It is more like you know. Uh, pre-assigned uh, watching, right? Pre-assigned videos. So um, as we reflect on the, uh, uh, the pre-assigned videos, uh, the, the lecture, right? Pre-assigned lectures, I may ask you, I will ask you questions, you know, uh, it's inevitable, you know, as I conduct, as I demonstrate, you know, for example, uh, as I demonstrate, you know, uh, uh the excel procedure or you know mathematical uh, pr uh process or uh i will be asking you know uh, constantly asking questions and um if you answer uh, that i wrote that somewhere right uh if you give me a good answer oh here's the next thing you know uh class protocol So, um, you, uh, if you answer, um, if you give me a great answer, great answer, that will be worth one point. Okay. Uh, so the, uh, the, the, uh, answer points, right. Uh, the, the credits you can earn from the, uh, answers, uh, range between 0 0.25 to one with the increment of, you know, uh, 0.25. Uh, 
there, there's no 0 0.75. It's basically a 0 0.25 or 0 0.5 for good answer, 0 0.25 for average answer, and one point for good answer. And this means, look, um, and I also explained, your attendance will uh, uh, give you a maximum of five points throughout the semester, right? So your uh, uh, each uh, attendance uh, presence present is 0 0.167. Okay, <laughs> why so many decimals? Uh, but it's inevitable because uh, we meet. That's basically you know uh, uh, we'll meet 30 sessions. You know uh, theoretically. It may be, uh, why? Because one semester is 15 weeks, 15 weeks, right? And each week we meet uh, two times. So you do the math, right? That's 30, uh, 30 sessions. So you divide five by 30 and that's what you get. And uh, late, um, if you, so basically you must leave your physical uh, proof of, of attendance. So that's why you must report attendance in the uh, uh, discussion board and you must do it within the first 30 minutes. Uh, I give, you know, I allow 30 minutes because some people have uh, internet connectivity issue. Sometimes they uh, have hard time connecting. So I give 30 minutes. So you must uh, report atten attendance within the first 30, 30 minutes then. Uh, otherwise, you know, after that, uh, it will be uh, 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 marked as late. And late is one third uh, for late. Uh, you will get only, you know, one third credit of, you know, uh, uh, present. Okay. So um, that's this, you know, how I got these numbers. So if you have perfect attendance throughout the semester, you'll have five points. And then if you earn, uh, uh, you know, uh, answer points, which is class participation, it's not limited to five. Uh, if you gave me five perfect good answers, uh, uh, great answers, then that's five. But let's say you gave me like, you know, uh, uh, 20 good answers, 20 good answers, that's 20 points. So if you made perfect attendance and gave me uh, uh, 20 good answers, you'll earn 25 points, which is, you know, uh, and the way I grade, uh, and let me take you um, uh, quickly to the, uh, an example of, oh, I don't, uh, that's something. I just posted, Uh, this you don't see, but you know, uh, whatever is grayed out is something you can't see. But this is something from the uh, previous spring. I believe this is something from, from the previous spring. Uh, after the semester was over, uh, you know, I post that for the students to uh, understand their uh, grade uh, breakdown. But you know, uh, you can check it out later. Uh, there are things in there. But you know, let me just quickly use my so I believe you can all see what I'm This is the result of this summer, right? The result of this summer. And it's all, you know, uh, uh, anonymized because uh, it's only, All right, so here, um, 
See, this was summer session, so um, it was brief, you know, five weeks only. So each day uh, uh, people got 0 0.25 for their attendance. But some people, so over five weeks they got, um, so let's see. Um, um, and 0 point, so uh four days per week five weeks so 20 sessions right so if they uh were uh if they had a perfect attendance that would be you know five points and someone there was someone here extraordinary uh i mean a lot of you know answers the total was you know 17.5 uh, there were some average answers, you know, uh, uh, good answers, great answers. Most, you know, all they rack up, and then that's that. Uh, this person got seven point uh, seventeen point five four participation, attendance, and participation, and that translates into the way I. Um, uh, there are four exams: quiz one, midterm, quiz two, final, and attendance, and. Uh, you may have also read it from the uh, uh, syllabus that uh, um, uh, quiz one and quiz two are 20 percent, 20 percent each, and midterm and final are 25 percent. So they all make up. 90% and 10% comes from the attendance and participation. But then, so they are raw. If you got 10, uh, 10 points in attendance, it will enter because it's 10% uh, uh, of the uh, uh, weighted average, right? Uh, the the raw raw 10% raw 10 points will enter this calculation. So this person for this person. 17 raw 17.5 entered uh, weighted average calculation. So let me uh, this may seem too small. Let me blow it up a little. So you so this calculation. Look at the weighted average calculation. This is 20% uh, of this right? B2 quiz one, which 20% uh, of B uh, D2, which is quiz two, right? So they got 20% 20, uh, 20 weight, and then 25% uh, weight for C2, which is midterm, uh, E2, which is final, and then this. So think about it. If you didn't do well in the um, um, any one of these, uh, and other than this person, they generally had uh, something, you know, less than 10 for attendance. Um, and it, you would get only five if you didn't answer any question, but just, you know, uh, attended um, the whole, you know, every session, then you just get five. But the people who got, you know, more than five mean that they answered, at least they answered some, you know, uh, questions. Um, either they had perfect attendance plus answering some questions, or uh, they didn't have perfect attendance, but at least, you know, they uh, gave decent amount of good answers. But, you know, that kind of, you know, uh, is, if you did, if you gave me good answers, even if you did not do well, this person didn't do, uh, Uh, quiz one, I mean quiz two, uh, but this per there are some other works that um, that don't directly uh, go into uh, the grade calculation, but there are some extra works, extra exams, extra quizzes. So this person did that, so it it kicked in. Uh, I mean he got. Originally, he got this, and this is basically the algorithm I use for automatically, you know, uh, 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 
and people think, you know, uh, um, I assign, you know, <laughs> uh, I just manually put in, I don't put in anything manually. Uh, the only, the only thing that is put in there manually is the original initial data. Initial data had to be, you know, unless you can download it, initial data has to be uh, uh, put in manually. Uh, but, you know, um, these are, uh, uh, these data are not manually, uh, these are original data, uh, but they were not input manually. They were all, you know, uh, downloaded into this and then, uh, according to my grading uh, policy, uh, it is calculated. And then uh, by statistics, by statistical criteria, uh, I, you know, this is my uh, grading uh, program or algorithm. And, uh, and for this person, you know, um, I, you know, um, uh, used, I used, you know, um, because this person was missing quiz two, which is 20%. Think about it. If your data, uh, if your data is missing 20%, 20% of your exam data is missing. There's no way you can do well, right? But at least, you know, uh, this person got you know, something. Uh, this person got something too, thanks to uh, uh, the diligent work. I mean, they did they were not diligent with uh, uh, final, uh, they were not diligent with this, but um, uh, early on, you know, early on the uh, some, you know, extra, on extra test, uh, they were at least, you know, uh, diligent on extra tests. So, they, yeah. so the point is, you know, um, uh, doing uh, doing good or participating in the collaborate session and um, doing well in the collaborate session uh, will help. I mean, again, if you are if you're good, uh, if you're a fast um, if you're a fast car, and if you're a fast car and you have no problem, you have no problem, you know, comprehending the material, following the material, uh, uh, you don't you don't have to uh, uh, come to the collaborate session. You can use that time to uh, study the video, right? Uh, the le main lecture, main lecture. Uh, there is no penalty for that. I don't, you know. Um, I respect super intellect. I mean, if you're, um, I haven't seen, you know, um, uh, it doesn't happen every day, but at least, you know, 2% of the population, I would say, 2% of the population, uh, that's that's by statistics, you know, the, um, at least, you know, uh, uh, the upper, 2% upper tail or 2% right tail, uh, they are, you know, in the top 2%, and it can happen. Some semesters, you know, um, uh, I get those people. Some semesters, I don't. But, you know, there are people who have, you know, uh, who belong to that top 2%, you know. Um, uh, and uh, right tail, top 2% upper tail. And uh, if you have that intellect, you know, in, in terms of IQ, that would be above, like, you know, top 2% would be above, like, you know, uh, 130, 135, 130, 135. But, you know, if you have that IQ, you know, um, um, uh, you won't, you won't find uh, some, somebody was trying to say some, somebody, did somebody try to say something? Uh, but you wouldn't have that much difficulty following this class. But, you know, if you are not in that category, you know, uh, you have to really pour yourself into it. You have to be ready to uh, uh, put in your uh, blood, sweat, tears, and toil. Of course, maybe not blood. You know? uh, nose bleeding can happen because if you study very hard and, you know, uh, uh, night and day, um, but no success comes without 
uh, without sacrifice. And you know, uh, uh, during the World War II, when Winston Churchill was, you know, uh, uh, became prime minister, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, before before Winston Churchill was, you know, I forgot it, uh, Disraeli or you know someone before him was a pacifist uh, or you know Dolph, Dolph, not you know Hawk, <laughs> uh, and he was trying to make you know. Uh, P, uh, non non aggression agreement with Hitler and he he flew back you know um, he went to uh, meet with Hitler um, in uh, Berlin and he flew to uh, London and as he uh, and I, I watched this in a World War II uh, documentaries you know since I was a teenager <laughs> and they still have that series you know BBC series you know you can still um, so that series uh has been you know around for more than you know uh, 50 years <laughs> uh, i remember this because you know from my teenage days you know uh, uh and you know i watched the uh always you know on pbs you know there are a lot of reruns reruns you know uh, so at least you know every decade i saw it uh at least you know uh more than once every de decade uh, but too bad I don't remember the name of the prime minister, British prime minister before Churchill. But you know, um, so as he uh, was, as he was, you know, uh, uh, deplaning, as he was deplaning, um, okay, um, as he uh, stepped down from the plane, he was holding this paper, which is, you know, basically signed by both, you know. Um, Chamberlain, I uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Chamberlain or Disraeli or uh, the uh, Prime Minister of you know uh, United Kingdom and you know Hitler signed you know non-aggression treaty. But you know uh, pay, it was just nothing but a paper. And you know <laughs> there was no such thing as you know um, treaty is, can be always you know treaty can be always you know uh, uh, broken you know if one party thinks they can do anything. Uh, they can do anything, you know. Um, you know uh, so there was, you know, uh, um, uh, Paris Accord, you know, uh, about you know climate, right? Cl uh, and when Donald Trump was the president, he just, you know, uh, what did he do? He just, you know, <laughs> ignored that. Uh, he pulled out of the uh, uh, Paris Accord, right? That's what the, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, usually what the uh, despots, despots, despots do, you know, the, uh, uh, like uh, Hitler. Uh, so, uh, but then, you know, because of that, he uh, lost, his party lost uh, the uh, election. And in a uh, uh, cabinet system, you know, the party that wins, you know, the head of the party becomes the prime minister. Uh, and, you know, uh, Churchill's, Winston Churchill's party won. So, um, and then in his, uh, and the war with, you know, um, uh, Germany uh, uh, already began. And uh, in, in his speech, Winston Churchill said, you know, I have nothing to offer you but blood, sweat, tears and toil not necessarily in that order maybe he said toil first toil uh sweat tears and blood um but that's it you know you have to um you have to have that mind you have to have that mindset right you need to have that mindset uh you sh you should be uh prepared to give toil right maybe not blood you know i don't uh, but you know if you study hard you may be uh, bleeding from nose, you know, but you should be even willing to uh, do that, right? Uh, unless you have, you know, top two percent uh, intellect, right? It will, for most people, it will be, you know, really blood, sweat, tears, and toil. Okay. Um, so um, uh, we have two hour session today right monday we have one hour wednesday's two hours uh so uh what i wanted to uh <clears throat> that's what i wanted to tell you um and uh 
again, uh, these are the things that are, uh, I posted this, okay. Uh, and then about, uh, this is not posted yet, uh, but I'm gonna be talking, but it's also in the um, syllabus. <clears throat> so if you go to the course information, right, you will find, you know, um, uh, this is not something you can see and it's, it's inactive now, but this is the syllabus. And if you click on that, you'll be able to find uh, the textbook information. Uh, uh, this is full, so I have uh, four sections of FMB 100, plus I have FMB 230, FMB 300. Um, so my time is really thin, you, you would understand. Um, and if you click on this, because this is PDF file, uh, you can click on that. And uh, I have already clicked on that and you will see, it will take you to um, the microsite. Uh, it will take you to uh, Megroil microsite. And you can uh, directly purchase, you can order, uh, because it's the microsite, the publisher has set up for uh, this custom edition. You can order directly from here or you can order from the BMCC bookstore. Uh, I think it's easier to do that from BMCC bookstore because BMCC bookstore, they just have the book already. And then um, the thing is, um, I don't know if, the thing with the uh, um, the publisher is that uh, they don't they don't pre they don't pre produce because this is custom edition. They don't have books, you know, uh, already produced and piled up. I mean, they will ship. They will pre uh, print the books. Uh, according to the order from the bookstore, because the bookstore places on order, so they do that. Uh, so the book, um, but you know, if you place order with them, they don't have the publisher. I don't think they have the books ready. They will, they will print once the uh, order has been placed. They're not going to print the books, you know, um, uh, ahead of time. Uh, so it will take time. If you order with them, it might take like two weeks at least. And then uh, shipping, um, in the past, they used to ship by FedEx. So they will, you know, um, uh, you have to request the uh, uh, FedEx track, uh, tracking number so that, you know, um, uh, of course, once you place an order, then um, you will get a receipt you know, by email, of course. Uh, but you know, uh, you want to know, you want to be sure where the book is now, so you should also request the, uh, the tracking number. Okay, uh, but all the, um, that would be uh, still. It will take. It could take. You know, four. Uh, two to four weeks. So if you don't want, you know, uh, and during that time you have, your mind is not in peace, right? <laughs> Where is the book, <laughs> right? Um, so I would recommend, you know, using the, uh, uh, I would recommend using the uh, bookstore and the bookstore will uh, also, they will, uh, You got booted out? What do you mean? You got booted out from where? Uh, you got booted out from this session? Jason, uh, what are, you, are you there, Jason? Let's see. Oh, so uh, what do you mean you got booted out? Uh, from the collaborate session? Or booted out from where? 
I mean, if you got booted uh, from the collaborate session, then it could have been the uh, uh, internet connection. Maybe you lost connectivity uh, temporarily. Um, audiobook, I don't know. Uh, um, Sorry about that. No, uh, I, no problem. Internet no problem. is kind of weak. Oh, the connection was weak. Okay, yeah, that can happen, you know. Um, Correct, uh, sir. All right, I, okay. Yeah, sometimes, you know, um, maybe I've been talking for too long because if you don't uh, talk, sometimes, you know, uh, the, the connection gets weak. Maybe, you know, uh, the server may be thinking, uh, server <laughs> may be thinking, server, or, or maybe server may be determining, uh, I mean, AIs think, <laughs> so I cannot say that the uh, uh, the machines do not think. You know, machines think. <laughs> so because it's clear, AIs think. Um, but you know, a server may have determined that uh, do, uh, you you must be idling, and due to low, uh, due to inactivity, maybe they you know, uh, uh, I don't know. It's not the uh, uh, BMC uh, the BMCC server, or it could be. Uh, it's not the Blackboard server. It could be your uh, internet service provider. I don't know if there's an audio book. Uh, there, there may be because, you know, uh, publishers are trying to uh, market their product in any way, any form possible. Right? Yes, Natalie? Hopefully there should be some accessibility. Um, yes, sir. Is there yeah. another way to access this book, or you just recommend that we order the physical textbook? Oh, you, well, you can, you can. There's ebook. Okay, I'm just, uh, I just posted that link because that's you know a, a BMCC custom edition, and custom edition is both physical book and you know uh, 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 connect access code and um it it's cheaper than the regular ebook because i believe the regular ebook is 130 dollars uh, the reason for the um uh, uh custom edition is that we don't we don't need a lot of unnecessary chapters there are a lot of chapters in the regular book and the re that's the regular book is hard cover hard cover uh book with uh, that's priced at around $260. But it's all because of, you know, think about it, a physical book, uh, the pricing depends on, you know, how many pages and whether it's in, you know, color print or not. And a lot of factors going there. Going you had me at two, Thank you. Yeah, custom edition uh, got rid of unnecessary chapters. I mean, for this course, I mean, they, there's nothing, uh, uh, un, uh, there's nothing uh, useless in that book, but, you know, uh, and another thing is, but, you know, within one semester, it cannot be covered. And you must understand, when authors write the book, um, and with the uh, publisher, right, to get, you know, publishers are more focused on marketing the book. And also, uh, they, they want to market it to a, a, a very large audience, the greatest maximum audience possible. So they don't make the book for, and the authors too, they, they also want to um, uh, uh, reach out to the uh, uh, maximum audience possible. So, um, so basically, if it is, a textbook, you know, uh, uh, it cannot be, and for something like economics and finance, it cannot be market. Uh, it cannot be marketed to a general audience, someone who don't have um, uh, for general audience. You know, something like you know, um, a book that can be marketed to general audience is an easy. Uh, it should be. Uh, the contents must be easy. Otherwise, you know, but for college and university, 
um, the authors and the uh, publishers want to uh, target at the maximum audience possible. That means the book doesn't have to be limited to uh, only uh, FMB 100, Finance 101. It, they want the book to be also applicable to uh, Finance 300 or Finance, you know, uh, whatever, right? Any level. So they, they write the book, you know, uh, broadly, right? Across broad uh, uh, topics. So then the book becomes, you know, thick. It will have to sell for, you know, um, the price that uh, makes it profitable for that uh, quantity, that size of the book, right? Um, <clears throat> Sometimes, you know, some authors uh, have uh, intent, uh, the intention, some, some authors have the intent to market it both, uh, <clears throat> to reach out to both graduate class and undergraduate class with the same book, right? <laughs> then the book will, so there is a book like that, you know, that's kind of, kind of uh, very, you know, uh, very hard for uh, intermediate level or, you know, uh, 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 and under. So it would be good for capstone course, advanced capstone course in undergrad, but, you know, generally good for graduate level course. Uh, so um, that's why I, you know, made um, custom edition and uh, partly also because we don't need a lot of uh, other uh, chapters that we cannot cover during the, uh, uh, no, no, don't rent the book because if you rent the book, it doesn't come with the uh, uh, access code because access code uh, is associated with only one user. Think about it, if I bought a new book, I use the access code, I open the access code, and that, that access code is associated with me. And that access code cannot be uh, reused. It cannot be recycled, okay? So um, you need, uh, you'll need to, um, so I don't know, yeah, uh, Office of Accessibility may have, you know, audio, uh, or they may help you with the uh, 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 purchasing audio book or, um, So where was I? Um, so, yeah, uh, part, part of the reason for the uh, custom edition is because we can cover only, um, a, you know, a, so much during one semester, um, yeah, about six topics, six to eight topics, that's the max. And uh, the regular edition has uh, contains like, you know, uh, 16, 18 topics, you know, 16, we can't, uh, maybe not that much, you know, at least. So um, uh, 16, 14, 16 topics. So we can't, we don't need all that. So I chopped off uh, basically a lot of uh, unnecessary chapters for our course. And then second, uh, it's a compilation of two different books. There's another book that I, uh, another, uh, one chapter from another book um, that is incorporated into this custom edition. Another thing is, another thing is, uh, there is, uh, okay, and you, um, the first topic is my original material. First topic is my original material, so you won't find it in the book, okay? It's only, um, my original material, um, and also there is my original material in the custom book. Uh, it's, so there is, you know, my original material that is in the custom book and my original material that is not in the custom book. Okay, so uh, you need the custom edition. Uh, and if you buy ebook, uh, it won't have my original material. Okay, um, that's but that's fine. I mean, if you want ebook, uh, you can get it. Um, 
So where is uh, okay? Um, so that's pretty much. All right, uh, and then uh, I haven't set this up. You know, I will. This will become active. It's grayed out now. I will set it up first. You know, I haven't set up you know any connect course just yet. So uh, once it is set up, then uh, it will be there. It will be a uh, uh, will be uh, visible. And then my office hours, right? I use you know um, so. Um, Zoom. I uh, conduct my office hours. Uh, you you must you know uh, uh, first you know schedule an appointment. That's it. And you know this is what sh the video you saw uh, already you know uh, yesterday um, about the uh, uh, the configuration, the layout, the structure of the Blackboard class. Okay. All righty. So. Um, I I will stop talking now, um, and you may have uh, you may use you know since we have uh, until twelve forty right uh, the class will be uh, over at twelve forty uh, technically, and then uh, so for the rest of the uh, time I want you to watch today's videos right so that you will have something to. Uh, reflect on in the next collaborate session okay um, or if you you know uh, if you have any questions you know you are welcome to uh, use the rest of the collaborate session for those questions so it's visible now I mean prior to 11 a.m today this one was not visible uh, every it's already built in all built in but um, look they are grayed out because that means you know they are not uh, available yet. They are not active. They will become active. Uh, they will become active when you know um, they are you know, when it is time, right? When we are there. So if you go in there, right? Uh, please download these files because you will need them to. Um, it says files to go with the video, right? Please download the above files, okay? Please do that. And then today, these are the videos that you must watch, right? And these videos are uh, available for five days. So you must watch them. You can uh, today, you, you can replay these videos every day, right? Until you fully comprehend. And then, and the other, uh, they are grayed out so that you're not, you know, uh, you cannot see them just yet, but August, uh, you see, I can see them, you cannot see them. August 30th, you know, they will open up, right? Uh, and then uh, another question, you know, so if they are available for five days only, and uh, from time to time, I will also post the, uh, the uh, as I said, every day I will update, I will post the, uh, uh, the live collaborate session, recording of the uh, collaborate session of that day. I will post it there too. Um, but from the past, I mean, there are some, uh, uh, live se uh, collaborate sessions that were either interesting or uh, very uh, useful or uh, helpful or something that's insightful or something that would help you in uh, in any way. Um, there was a discussion uh, this spring. Uh, there was a discussion about in the live session. I explained what what happened with Robin Hood, what happened with you know uh, GameStop, and what uh, what does that all have to do with you know short sell and all these things? What is short sell? That um, 
I gave a full hour, a full session. I don't know if it was one hour or two hours, you know, the collaborate session. Um, uh, I basically explained that. And the, uh, um, that was, you know, from this spring in the class, one of the classes, you know, from this spring. And I will also, uh, I will also insert it somewhere, you know, uh, not to, not today's, but, you know, uh, where it is relevant in the, in the topic, in the relevant topic, right? In, uh, in the day, in the date, in the scheduled, uh, uh, topic date where that you know um, um, where the topic is relevant to that okay uh, and there will be something like that you know along the way so um, uh, one more question is you know if um, after five days then you know if it is no longer there uh, and if you want to uh, re uh, if you want to retrieve it uh, how do you do that I, I told you earlier that I have um, I have put put up all these videos in the uh, uh, on YouTube, so you can go to YouTube, and I will. Uh, that's okay. That's FMB two thirty. So or, uh, this is the uh, this is my channel. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what my channel is uh, named. Uh, it's just the. Uh, uh, I guess it's just the uh, 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 web uh, URL, uh, the, the the web address. But you know, this is my playlist. Okay, so please, you know, uh, uh, please jot it down on YouTube. You can search for this playlist, and it's there permanently. Every you know. Uh, And some some videos, uh, most of uh, some old videos. I mean, the videos that I made, you know, uh, uh, in the spring of 2020 are like one hours long. A lot of them are one hour, and most of the videos are in 30 minute segment, more or less 30 minutes. Some are 45 minutes, but a lot of them are. Uh, you can see. Uh, uh, there are this one is one hour twenty three minutes, so it took a lot of time to uh, upload. Uh, but you know some videos are uh, some videos are uh, one hour long. Some are uh, thirty minutes. Uh, but please, you know, uh, uh, take a note of this. And if the um, uh, videos are more than five days old, then that's where you look. Okay. All righty. Then you know I will um, I will shut up from now on. I want you to uh, watch. You know, use the rest of the time to catch up with today's video. You can always you know watch it uh, later, but you know uh, get started. Um, and then if you have any questions, I'll be uh, I'll be taking your questions. Okay. Are there any questions so far? Yes, sir. I have one question. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Uh, who is this? Oh, Natalie. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I I want to go to Barnes and Nobles after this and pick up some really mm -hmm. basic math math workbooks. Do you recommend mm -hmm. anything like just some basic algebra? Or Geometry. Uh, I'm really. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know what they use for um, math 206 at BMCC. Uh, if you can, uh, uh, I don't know. Are you gonna go to the bookstore in person, Barnes or you're gonna Barnes and Noble, you know, just regular Barnes and Noble, or mm -hmm. BMCC mm -hmm. bookstore is also Barnes and Noble. So I wonder. Uh, I guess you can also um, first check out what 
what the math class uses for uh, Math 206. And if you can find that book, um, I mean, you can also order, uh, I believe, you know, um, uh, you can go to Barnes & Noble's website or uh, Amazon, or you can also probably, uh, it will take time. I mean, if you can, you know, uh, go in person, you know, it's... Well, I uh, meant like really remedial workbooks, like something really <laughs> basic level. I was wondering if you recommended any. Uh, <laughs> I don't like know. Like kind of I math for um, dummies almost? Hmm, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but you know, see then, you know, uh, try this. First, find out what the math department uses for um, Math 056. Math 056 is a uh, remedial math for uh, al intermediate algebra, I believe. So uh, if you can, um, if you can find out what book they use uh, for that, that math of 56. <laughs> hmm? That makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And then, you know, I'll find out and if, if you can get it from uh, Barnes and Noble or Amazon, you know, I think that would be a uh, good idea. Okay. All righty. Uh, Grayson, any classwork? Is that, is that a question? Is there any, uh, what do you mean by that? Is that a question, Grayson? I guess. Are you there, Grayson? Yes, yeah, that's a question. Oh, uh, okay. Two people were saying at the same time. So, uh, uh, can you repeat? Oh, that, yeah. Grayson? It's a question. Is there is there any classwork due like on Monday? Oh no, no, no. Not at this time. Not at this time. Okay. Just uh, watch the the assigned video. But don't just watch it once. You think. Um, in the past, you know, if um, students just read once and they think, if you can read, you think you understand. No, this is really, you know, uh, this takes a lot of um, um, you can tell as you watch the video, you can tell if you can fully comprehend, if you fully comprehended that content or not. So. Um, ask yourself, did I fully comprehend? Can I reproduce this? Can I replicate this exactly what is being uh, demonstrated in the video? Can I replicate this? And if you say, you know, uh, if your answer is no, if you cannot replicate it completely, 100% like that, then you didn't, you know, uh, comprehend. Uh, you didn't master the material. So you, what you need to do is, uh, you have to uh, uh, replay, keep watching the video, you know, uh, watch and rewatch until you fully digest the material, until you are capable of re reproducing exactly what is being uh, shown in the uh, uh, in the video. Okay, and I also told you to download these files because what you will see there in the video uh, is the, power, the PowerPoint I use is this. It's not PowerPoint, this is PDF of version of the PowerPoint. And um, this is the um, Excel file. Uh, whatever, you know, is demonstrated in the video, um, uh, with Excel, you must be able to reproduce it exactly. Um, uh, if you if you delete everything uh, in the Excel file uh, except the uh, initial data, initial you know uh, uh, input data, and the, uh, delete the rest of them, and then if you can reproduce everything uh, there, then then you're good. But if you cannot reproduce it, then uh, you need more. Uh, you need more studying, right? Uh, you might need really, as I said, you know, toil, uh, sweat, tears, and blood. Okay. All righty. Um, any anybody else? Any other questions? 
Alrighty, if there are no more questions, I will uh, mute myself and I uh, want you to uh, start watching the uh, 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 today's video. Uh, and I will, I will, um, I will dismiss the class uh, automatically. Uh, the class will be automatically dismissed at uh, 1240 and uh, the recording will stop at the time and the uh, blackboard will be closed at the time. Okay, I, I, of course, I will prompt you at 1240. I will uh, prompt you. I will um, tell you the class is dismissed. Uh, but until then, I will stay muted. Okay, if you have any questions, you can, um, you can type into the chat box. Okay, mute it.
All right, class is dismissed. I will stop recording and I will see you guys on Monday. Okay. Take care.